look at this guy's rig. That thing is ridiculous. Dualies. It's got a uh, bed cover on it, and it's got a rack on top of that. Anyways, as you can possibly see by the time over there, it's uh, 1.09. I just finished my classes for today. I, I have an exam Thursday, and I just moved that to tomorrow at 1.45 because Thursday isn't going to work. So stay tuned. Um, it's 39 degrees, it's freezing, it feels like worse than that, and it's cloudy as hell. Welcome to another day in Ohio. Right, so I looked at the weather last night, and they said today was, and I quote, brilliant sunshine, warm, 42 degrees. All right, you know, 42 degrees may be warm for Ohio in November. I'm not gonna complain about that. They said brilliant sunshine. I looked at the, uh, the radar map, the clouds were way out there, um, and then the hour by hour picture looked pretty nice. Not even partly cloudy, not mostly sunny. Brilliant sunshine. My ass, this is not brilliant sunshine. There's nothing brilliant about this. It's complete overcast and it has been all day. This is dick. I just wonder how they're off that much and how they're still paid for their jobs. They have no idea. Absolutely have no idea. So I was thinking, oh, I'll take the M5. I haven't driven the M5 for more than two miles since, geez, the Saturday before Colt got here. So it's been like 10 days because I've had this. And I would like to drive it when it's nice and the roads aren't too salty anymore. And before they do get salty again in 10 minutes, I should drive it again. Well, no, it was snowing. They wouldn't even a percent chance of rain or anything. Um, but it was snowing and cloudy this morning. So, okay, there's my rant. Talk to you later. What a beautiful sight. Look at how pretty it is here in November. Hmm. All right. It's approximately 3 o'clock. Colt's on his way over. He's been hanging out with Rosvon all day. He has work in a few hours, so he's going to drop by for a little bit. Um... Don't know what we're gonna do. There's there's some of the wood that I cut up yesterday. With the trees that had come down. Let's zoom and focus. Now focus. So okay. About a third of that is probably new. A lot of it's old. And the tree that fell is about as far left as you can see. Right in there somewhere. And now it's all gone. So that's progressive, I suppose. Uh, the sun came out for like five minutes, I think, so maybe they're not totally wrong. Brilliant sunshine. Yeah, they are. They're totally wrong. I replaced some light bulbs. Oh, what a productive day it's been. Last night I came out here and flipped this light on up here, and I thought, wow, that's really dark. I came out and the left one's dead, so we replaced both. They have way overly complicated light bulbs now. You want to buy a light bulb, you don't just go buy like a 75-watt floodlight. No, no. There are these bulbs that use 60 watts, but it's still a halogen. So they advertise that it uses 60 and produces 60-75. Well, which is it? Somewhere in between 60 and 75? They don't know. And they're probably more expensive, and then they advertise that it lasts a year. So what does that mean? You screw it in, turn it on, and it burns for a year? Or it lasts for a year? Dicked. I don't know. I like buying light bulbs 10 years ago better. These squiggly kind suck. You go down the basement, I have one down there, you turn it on. It takes two seconds to turn on, then it's really dim for five minutes, then it's bright. Piece of junk. I think we should be using Xenon projectors everywhere. The E39 5 Series has a wonderful set of Xenon projectors. We'll just put a bunch of those in here. We'll mount the ballasts up there, run the wires down. It'll be like 58 million volts in here. It'll be beautiful. Parks right behind the bush. Typical. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's getting money out of the trunk. Look at that. That's 10 times zoom. I'm standing in my house. Oh, he's getting the Mac. 10 times zoom. I can almost read the size on those rear tires from here. I love that. Better than the flip. We're just going to creep while he comes in the house. Oh, trunk didn't shut. Okay. Trunk is shut. Make sure you have everything. Got the back sack. Your ting looks good. All right. That's really creepy. All right, guys. We're at uh, the Home Improvement Warehouse. 
We've been working, working in the garage. You know that that uh, electrical outlet? I don't know. Like it's a the, the screw. Light bulb. The light bulb socket above my car has uh. never worked since we built the house in 86. Well, it works now. So we're coming over here to get a bulb because we don't even have any of the old style. Oh my God, can you say light? Look at this. This is absurd. It lights up the whole driveway. Hey, look, the car moved. I even took it over to Lowe's. So it's, it's finally now been mobile for the first time in quite a while. It's, it's kind of fogged over because it is freezing cold out here. But hey, it runs the same, feels good. Anyways. The problem with this light, ever since we moved in, you take the bulb out, you screw the bulb in, it don't work, you get a new bulb, it's dickered. You go up in the attic, I can get above this. However, there's a wall above this, right there, on this side of the fixture. And then this part's a triangle, and you can't get in there. You can see it by looking through a little hole, but you cannot access the blinds in that box. You can access that one, so I figure they're daisy chained together. So I tear this one down. There's like six wires or seven wires that go into one wire nut. I take the wire nut off. They're barely connected. Connect them, to, connect them together well. Come back over here, connect it again, put the bulb in, it works fine. So now we have four 75 watt bulbs in here, which lights this place up like a battlefield, which is gonna make it a great detailing hub in a few months, right? Yeah. And a great place to install some new aftermarket hardware that increases performance in my car in a few weeks. You turn too fast. Uh-oh. Is he gonna jump? Yep. Going down to the floor. Okay, it's 11.57. Are you ready to see what this looks like out here now? Can we open the door. The only light that's on is the garage light, the one in the, uh, in the opener motor. We will flip the switch, boom. It's kind of ridiculous, actually, how bright it is. But it's going to be great for all of the stuff I do out here at night with the car and stuff. We're going to be able to see it's like daylight now. So that's going to be super nice. Okay, so not even 12 o'clock. I'm pretty tired. I think I'm going to head up now, turn in for the day, do the vlog, do the emails, do all the stuff that's fun and needs to be done. I got light bulbs everywhere. I'm just cleaning stuff up. It's like a light bulb day. I bitched about light bulbs for five minutes in the car and then we ended up doing the whole garage from fresh. So that's cool. Oh, it's November. It's mid. It's freaking late November, isn't it? What is today? The 20th. Today's the 19th. The, the 20th of November already. That means we only have eight more months of hell before summer's back. It's going to be great. Uh, Colt went back to the apartment a little bit ago. What else happened today? That's about it. Doing all these little odd jobs that are nice because then they fix problems that we've had for years and years and years and now they're done all right enough talk to you guys tomorrow on thursday wednesday wednesday good night